finally, some new features just launched with my favorite database option, and I'm super, super excited about it. So this database is Zeta. It's one I've been working with for a long time. It's one you've probably seen on the channel. And I love it because it's had a TypeScript SDK, it's had generated types, it has a UI, it has branches, it has a lot of really cool features. But the one key thing that was missing is actually finally here. And that is exposing Zeta basically directly to the actual Postgres instance. So Zeta has always been a wrapper around Postgres, but you didn't have direct access to Postgres, which kind of limited how you were able to interact with it. And so Zeta just recently had launch week and the tagline was unleashing the elephant. And there's a few different things in here that I want to talk about that are really going to change the way that I work with Zeta in one of my projects and change the way that you would work with Zeta if you were interested in trying it out as well. So the biggest thing is that Zeta is now exposing that Postgres layer. And this means that you have access to do all Postgres things that basically you may have wanted to do in the past, but didn't have the ability to. So this is saying that you can connect to them using any Postgres client. We'll talk more about that in a minute. I'll show you my favorite way to do this. And then you can use a Postgres database while keeping all the amazing things about Zeta. So you have your database um, and branch creation, zero cold starts, no pausing and sleeping in case of inactivity. You have full text search. This is one of the big ones. I've done a video on this in the past as well. And you have file attachments. You also have vector embeddings if you want to do like AI related searches uh, on your data. So there's so much that they offered, but now you get like the full control over uh, Zeta to the Postgres level. So this is currently in beta and all you have to do is kind of do a tick when you uh, are a checkbox when you go through and create a new database to make sure that it's marked as uh, having access to that Postgres layer. So there's some further details. I'll have a link to a couple of these announcements in here if you want to find more about details about how Zeta works, etc. But I want to talk about my favorite part of this, which is the fact that since this is just a Postgres database and you can connect directly to it, you can actually use Prisma with this. So I haven't gotten to use Prisma in a while because I've been using uh, the Zeta TypeScript SDK, which has generated types for your databases. It's actually really cool and works really well. But Prisma has you no know, X number of employees working on it. It's been around for several years. Tons of people are using it. And I am excited to go back to using Prisma to interact with my database in this case, which is Zeta. Now, there's one specific feature in here that I think is the most exciting. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but in this case, they kind of show you, hey, you need to enable Postgres on a database when you create it, give it a name, et cetera. And then the main thing is inside of here, you'll get a URL that you use to connect in Prisma. And so basically what you do is you take that URL, that database URL, and you put it in your .env, and then you can uh, just set up Prisma and you're good to go. Now they also have a Prisma adapter for PG. And this is if you want to take advantage of like connection pooling and things like that. I don't have any uh, need to do that right now, so I'm just avoiding this completely. But this is my absolute favorite feature of this, which is the ability to run DB push and DB pull. So DB push will take the schema that you defined inside of your schema file and it will push that schema to a database. Uh, DB pool will actually pull a schema from a database and you can have uh, a defined schema in code in your schema file there. I'll show you an example of this in a project uh, that I've referenced several times. This deals for devs project. We have our schema.prisma and inside of here, you can see the schema for our deal table, our admin user table, our subscriber table, and I think that's it for now. And what's so cool now is since this is defined in code, anyone can go and create their own Zeta database in the dashboard and then just run a Zeta DB push to actually push these schema changes to that database. So I want to show you what that looks like uh, right now. So inside of the Zeta dashboard, let's just go and sign in and let's just create a new database from scratch. So we'll call this my test DB Prisma. And then this is where this is in beta right now. We'll enable direct access to Postgres. So we'll open this up and then you can see we have our settings here to connect to our database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this Postgres endpoint and then I'll need to replace my API key. So I'm going to copy this property and I'm going to go back to this project deals for devs. And then you won't see this, but I'm going to open up the .env file. I am going to update the database URL to that new property. And then I'm going to take my Zeta API key and replace that in those placeholders that it had for me. So I'm going to push this in, save this and said, so I'll close it. Now I can actually share my screen. So if we look in here, we don't have any data, no tables or anything inside of this database. So what we can do now is that we can run NPX Prisma DB push 
And this will push that entire schema, all those tables up to my brand new database. So why this is so exciting is anyone that now is trying to set up a project, they could run this exact same command. And if they just create a database in Zeta, they've got their own database already configured with all these tables. And if we come back, I didn't even have to reload. This is like socket connection or something. So you actually see all this data now is attached and ready to go, which is super, super cool. Now, a next step that I wanna do is create a seed file that uh, Prisma can run. And basically you can run, I think like an MPX Prisma seed and it will take that file and that file will upload some dummy data inside of here. So that is super nice because somebody else that's checking out the project, all they have to do is create a new project, a uh, new database inside of Zeta. Then they can run Prisma DB push to push the schema. Then they can run a seed, which will actually push data into those database tables. And then they can be able to run the project really easily. So this is super exciting. Uh, it's something I've been waiting on for a long time. Uh, there's a couple of other things that are involved in this. Uh, there is a uh, open source package called PG roll for doing uh, zero downtime and reversible schema migrations. I may do some more content on this in the future if you're interested, but this is a big deal because the zero downtime, basically often when you do a schema migration, you have to take down your database to then apply changes and then start your application up. But obviously if we didn't have that downtime, this would be better. So that's the use case that this solves and they have this kind of built into the dashboard. If we scroll down here, you can kind of see your schemas. You can of uh, you can edit your schemas now in a way that you couldn't before with Zeta. And then also you can see these schema changes where in this case they're altering a column and renaming it and you have the ability to run this migration, et cetera. Now the really interesting thing about this is because Zeta kind of maintains some of this migration workflow and Prisma does some of the same thing. Instead of using the MPX Prisma migrate commands, instead you'd use a DB push and then do your uh, migrations inside of Zeta. So it's kind of an interesting workflow where there's a little bit of overlap, but the fact that you can do these zero downtime migrations is actually a pretty big deal and pretty useful. Uh, lastly, there is uh, usage monitoring. So you can go in and kind of get a view of your database usage, data storage, search storage, file storage, AI questions. Again, all these features just built in, which is pretty cool. I think this is uh, really focused on the pro tier, so it may not apply to you if you're on a free tier, but it is nice to have and a nice addition, I think, to the platform as a whole. So anyway, features that I've been waiting desperately for in my favorite database option are finally here. Now, full transparency, Zeta is a partner of mine, but basically that relationship is me just using Zeta, trying it out and building with it, and then sharing the things that I build. And everything that I've done with them has been a ton of fun, really enjoyable. And this, again, just makes this process uh, even better. So let me know what you think about the new updates to the platform. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in contributing to the Deals for Devs project, it's really a community-led effort where we're encouraging developers to take on working on a bigger open source project. Uh, send me a message in Discord. You can join Discord at learnbuildteach.com. And then I will get you set up and you'll have access to everything and be able to see what we're working on. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.